Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create page links in Webflow. Whether you want to link to another page on your website or an external site, I will walk you through the steps to create effective page links that will help mm -hmm. help your users navigate your site easily. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So. The first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply go ahead and launch your browser. Right from here, go to the URL section on your browser and then search for Webflow. So you can just Google it like that. And let me just remove this and add English so you can have the actual English version of this website. Now click on the first link and they will take you here. Simply now, all you need to do is go to this view dashboard and they will take you to the dashboard if you have an account. Let me show you how to create one real quick. So I will sign out of my account right by clicking to sign out of my account here. So here we go. And then they will take me to like the main page. This is how it looks like. I can just remove this to show you how it looks like really in depth. And here it is. So we can either get started for free or you can go check their pricing and choose a plan from their pricing plans. So let's check their plans first in case you'd like to go for one first. Here you will have four kinds of plans or three main plans. There is of course the basic, CMS and the business one. So each one of these has their own features. For example, the basic has a custom domain, zero CMS items, 500 monthly form submissions and 50 gigabyte bandwidth. The CMS has 2K CMS items, 1K monthly form submissions, 200 GB bandwidth, and 3 content editors. And the last one, which is the business, has 10K CMS items, 2.5K monthly form submission, 400 GB bandwidth, and 10 content editors. Well, there is, of course, beside those three plans, the free one, which has a webflow.io domain, so you don't really get a custom domain, which is a .com domain name and 50 CMS items, 50 form submissions and one gigabyte bandwidth. So, and in the other side, you will find the enterprise uh, plan. The enterprise plan, of course, will be much expensive than all of these. And it is very customizable as you'd like. You'll get custom domain name. You will have more than 10K CMS items. It is depending on how many you ask for. A custom monthly form submission a custom bandwidth, a custom content editors, and uptime SLAs in here, of course. Now, either you want to go for one of these site plans or uh, workspace plans, uh, they are kind of different, so it is all up to you to look for them. You can see all the features in details over here, the same goes for this one. So you have to really read about them step by step, one by one, so you can decide which one to go for in case you were interested. And in general, you will find general and e-commerce. So there is so many plans, guys. Uh, it is kind of um, complicated for you to get which one to go for. So I highly recommend you guys to actually go through the features one by one in your free time and then read them all so you can get uh, which one to go for. Or you can just ask, for example, ChatGPT for the best plan for your own uh, objects. Now let's get our free plan because we are going to go with the free version. So let's create another account using the free version. Here you can just connect using your Gmail account or use a work email address. So I'm going with my Gmail account and I'm going to choose my email. And from here guys, all you gotta do is delete, some, let me just delete one of these. So here we go. I am going to delete it forever. I have deleted it successfully and from here just click on new site and you will be able to create a new site here you might find four templates a blank site portfolio business and store and below you can find some paid templates here you can see them all and here some free templates with like some images into them so you can adjust them all by yourself for example, we can try this one and select it. And here you just have to choose the site name. 
So test and create sites. And as you can see, it has been created successfully. Now all you have to do is wait until it is fully loaded. Now after the website has been launched, guys, I will show you a quick tip. So the first step that I want to show you is you can actually change the way that you are looking into your website through these icons from here. So this is like how you can see it through a mobile here as a rotated or a bigger mobile. As you can see here, I think mobile landscape. Yep. Here a tablet, here a desktop and here a bigger screen, I guess. So you can even adjust it through here to choose a 9020 uh, pixels or you can just keep it on one of these templates. So we are going to stick with these templates. Now, when are we going to need those kind of link page? We are going to need them, of course, in the menu. We are going to need them in these buttons that you might find all around the website. You might even find them, find them here, for example, this button here, um, in some words if you'd like it. So, for example, here, if I clicked on ultimate, it will take me to a page, I don't know. And for example, in this button as well, and in these icons, which are my social media. So I'm going to show you how you can edit them one by one. First of all, let's go, for example, to the menu and click on one of these words. So let's go with this one. You will find that a navigation link will be opened for you right after you click on it. So now you can click here on this quick icon settings that you might find and next to the navigation link. So click on it and you will find here link. So you can either link it to a property, connect a new property. Here you can change the URL. Uh, for example, if you'd like it to take it to an, a page that is existing in your website or a phone number, for example, an email, a section of your website or a file. So in our case, we are going to choose a page that we have in our website, in our case, and we can create just a page or choose whatever page we have here. So it is completely up to you. And for example, here in this for buy a ticket, we can, for example, make them take us to, I don't know, like to Google, for example, we can just add here a URL, URL which is google.com and we can add here connected property and add www google.com so all of this to work for us so here we go and now we have linked it so we have here google and everything has been linked so once now i click on publish and as you can see here and i publish to selected domains it will take us once i click on buy a ticket to google and just so you know guys this track will not only work on buttons it can also work on images and anything like a video or something like that for example this image itself i can just click on it twice and then i can go to quick settings through here and here i can keep editing it as i like so here for example i can go to show all settings and i can just go to here show this close this and I guess it was somewhere around here. So it is something of these settings that you can click on and it will add the actual uh, linked link over here. You can go also here and add a new combo link. So for example here, let me just copy it from here. Um, sorry guys. Yeah, so through here, for example, you can copy this navigation link and then go to this image and add this actual thing that we have added into it. So as you can see, it can actually add it to this image. And then from there, you can add whatever link you'd like it to be. So yeah, guys, that was completely it. That's how you can add navigation link to any word, any button and any image that you have on your website. I hope you liked this video and see you guys in the next tutorial.